All right, this is our uh, Class C little four winds, the 5000. I think we did another one a couple of weeks ago. I'm selling Dorados under here. It's still kind of damp. Dry yeah. well, it's got some deck issues for sure. This is delamination. So you have one grain going in one direction. This one, you can see the grain going this way. And then you have the grain going this way. And then it goes back. And that's how they do the sheets. That's where you get your strands from it. And they're all glued together. So it's kind of like sheets of paper towels. Take the paper towel, you set it one way, you set it the other way, and keep alternating them. Then uh, you get your strength that way. And each each one of the layered fights against the grain the other way. That's where your strength is. So this is all glued together, laminated. And when the glue lets go, it gets all sopped and wet and soaked. Then this is what's known as delamination. And see how corrugated it looks, all wavy like that. So we're more than likely going to have to redeck this, or at least a portion of it. We'll see. We got everything else off of here. Get the AC ready to get pulled out of the way. Then uh, we've got some blocking in there that we put on all of them. What that does is uh, just prevents us from getting trash or anything down inside there. We're going to get rid of that antenna. Then uh, we've got the same with the skylight here. And we'll get these ones are getting secured in as we as we speak. This doesn't look all so good here. I don't have to expect there yet, so we'll we'll check it out in just a minute here when we peel all this off, and we'll give you another update. You can see all the coatings here. That's what they had on there. Everything's all stuck to this inside there, but it all blisters off right there. It's really hard to get anything to stick to this rubber underneath here, so just wants to keep rubbing off. That's why we don't do coatings. These are our update on our 5,000. Most of the decking is pretty good. This little bit wouldn't be an issue. Looks like some, just some roofing or tape that needs to come up. But overall, everything looks pretty good, except for this little bit in the front. So we're gonna fix this. We're gonna laminate a new piece in here. Still got that turn bar to take off, so that's about it for repairs. It looks like it's probably like maybe a, a 4x4 area right here. This is our 4 wind 5000 update. Alright, what well we got done is we patched this piece in. We had a lot of delamination, so we just cut it out. Cut it out, and then we replaced it with this piece here. This same thing, eighth inch. But then we did. Uh, there's an epoxy that you use to pull it all back together, so it bonds just like it is from the factory. You can actually see some of the epoxy here. It's not epoxy just here. It's epoxied under the whole thing, all the way underneath. So it's all one unit because there's foam under there. So we have to get it all back together or it won't function right as uh, for strength factors. So we've got everything else tore off. Everything else looks pretty well. Uh, we're just going to get the roof, get ready to get that squared away. Get the roofing on here, the material. And then uh, we'll probably end up... Well, there's a little bit of product that we poured in there. This is going to come over here. So we'll take care of this real quick. We got another product that we can put on here that will help balance all this out. So this piece will come on over, but this isn't too compromised. It's just that thin layer. We could end up with a bag of worms just pinching the wallet really bad if we wanted to redeck the whole thing. It just doesn't need it. If it did, I'd do it. This is just another little couple little crumbs that flaked off and we're gonna fix that. So what we're gonna do over there is just sand it down and then we have 
Another product we put on there that's going to balance it out so you can't see the joint. That's really what we want to do. So when you look at it, you won't tell where we, we repaired it. A little 5,000. We already did the repairs up there. And then we've got a uh, an adhesive leveler right here. We showed you some of those issues right there as well. And then up front, we got everything all balanced out. You see these little boards that are in here. We put them in there for our protection so we don't fall through the holes as we're putting the roof on. Those are where your vents, your air conditioner like that one is up there. You got another vent up there and so forth. All those, well obviously the holes will, will have to cut them through the roofing. And once we get all that cut, then we obviously take the plates out, right? So uh, that's about where we're at right now with it. So we're getting this prepped up so we can get the roofing on it. But that's about where we're at with this one. So we got half of the roof down. What they're doing right now is rolling it out. Then uh, we'll get this other side right here. Get that blur out of there for you. We're going to roll it over this way. We'll put some more glue down. And then we'll bring it back over and roll it again. a hundred pound roller right there you can't do that with rubber if you do it with rubber the rubber is like carpet if you've ever tried to move or roll something over carpet how it kind of gets balled up in front of whatever you're rolling that's what will happen if you try a, a big roller like that so they just normally just glue it and they actually roll it out and they take their hand and they just do this and that's it so if you don't get a good bond though that's why you drive down the interstate you'll see some of these campers and the tops will be pulling up because the force of the wind going over it creates a vortex which is actually pulling up a vacuum and uh, when it does that's what taxes the roof system the membrane and it'll start pulling up but you need to roll it down real tight and get it down there well or it's going to pop up on you okay we got it rolled out okay now we've got the roof all rolled out what we're going to do now is start setting our curves that's what he's doing down there. Howard's cutting out the, the vents. Those are those pieces of wood that you saw up underneath there. He's cutting those out. And then uh, we're gonna start welding in some of these components. Okay, we're just gonna give you an update on our 5,000 here. We've got all the curves welded in. They're all welded in. We welded the boots in too. Now we're just getting these uh, vent covers on here. And then the, what we just did finished up here is we stapled in the edge of the roof so we can put the turn bar on so we'll have a nice tight edge so now then what we're doing we cleaned up this turn bar you don't want to have a nice roof on here then as you look look up into the roof you don't want to see a turn bar that's all cruddy looking so what we did is we're painting them we took them down cleaned them up because these ones are really dirty so they'll look nice and clean when it's done We're all, like I said, all welded in there. Get all that in here. Vents on. We'll be putting another layer right along here. And the, obviously the cover's got to go on as well. We've got to take a screw out and we'll put that in there. But we just got it seated. And then we'll seal that up a second time. we got little bell caps that go over here to cover the plumbing. That's us right all right, here's our 5,000 update. So we got our roof on. Everything's all welded in. Got a double seal on here. We double layer the caulking on the edges. That little stand in the back of the AC. Got our boots for our plumbing over there as well. We got our brand on here. Can you see that? Same thing with the ladder. We get those on there. Those boots. And we're ready to go. A little flashing detail up in the front of the AC that keeps a lot of the water that runs down the AC. I'm trying to get back up into the gasket. We replaced that gasket as well. Then up in the front here, one of the things that we did, somebody had put a piece of uh, roof tape over here because the phylon was cracked. It looked terrible. So we added a piece of roofing in there and then I put this nice vinyl trim on here. And it looks pretty sharp, from, especially from the bottom. It looks real good, nice and clean. So.
skylights all squared away. So when we weld these, this is three inches here, we weld all of that. That isn't going to leak. You don't have any caulking. This isn't caulking. It's all welded. It's all heat welded right into there. It's all part of it. If you were to try to tear that up, you'd end up ripping the whole piece to, apart. Then right here, I don't know if you can see it that well. You can see the letter A. Right here, you drill a hole, and that's where the antenna is. We took off the crank up antenna. They didn't want to put another one on. But we still want people to know where the wire is. If they go to sell this coach, somebody may want to put that on there. Now the hole is over here somewhere when the wire comes up. So somebody may be searching for that right there. Real easy. And one of the guys wanted to put a W on there for wire, but I thought A for antenna would be better. Not W for wire. <laughs> Here's the front. We had to add some caulking on here. We do the top of these lights like this, but these lenses don't fit. So I'll mention that to the customer, but when we took them off, it was just slathered with caulking. And the reason why is they are loose. They'll fall out, so we just sealed them back in. But he's going to have to go around the rest of the coach and go around like the windows. If you're not doing that, this is something you need to check because it'll rot these bunks out, especially right here. This is the, the bottom part. You see the driver's door. And that'll rot these things out quick. Also around here, you want to get that caulked and sealed real well. We're going to do that when we break all this scaffold apart. But if you have your coach like that, go look for those things. Look for these. Make sure these are sealed well. If they're not sealed well, you'd be surprised. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of sealant will make a big difference. Save you a lot of money. Even around like these right here. This, this is for the, the stove. Go around that. Everywhere. Anywhere that has uh, water could possibly get in, go back and reseal all that. You know, we did the same with the back of the lights. We sealed around those. So this way, if they, I wouldn't want someone to call up and say, hey, I got a roof leak. They bring it in. I go, yeah, it's really your lights. So we're already right here. It's not that big of a deal for us to just kind of do these while we're working. But you really need to go around like the ladders. You need to go around there. Everywhere. Everywhere. So... Uh, this thing turned out real good. It's nice and clean. So that's your 5,000 right there.